Hey there, it's Elizabeth and welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look and a flip through through my happy planner turned happy journal. Okay, now since that is such a mouthful for me, I am renaming this thing and I am going to be calling it my jot journal. Okay, so I'll be doing flips of my jot journal at the end of each month or thereabouts. Okay, sorry for the glare. Um, this is an idea that I got from a lovely friend, Pramita. I will link her below. Uh, and what she is using her happy planner for is a journal. Okay, so again, I'm renaming mine to be called the jot journal. It's my jot journal. Now we are in the month of August, so I will be doing a flip of July. Okay. This is the monthly spread. I don't do anything with this. At some later time, I might, you know, maybe do some painting on it. I might do some collage work on it. I don't know. Just right now, I haven't decided what I'm going to do. So let's get into this. Okay, here is my July spread. And I want to tell you, because I have had some questions. While this is a planner, I do not plan. Okay, I don't have anything to plan, quite frankly. <laughs> uh, so what I use this for is journaling after the fact, okay? I typically do a two-page spread, the whole week's spread, at one time the next week, okay? If that makes any sense. So I don't do this daily, okay? I do it at the end of the week for the week prior, all right, because everything's fresh in my mind of what we did. I have my notes either from my Fobonichi or the notes on my phone that I keep. And and I use up like bits and pieces of different things. So that's how I do this, a short version explanation of how I do this, okay? So this was the first week in July, all right? Over here, I always do my prayer list. In the background here, the, these little images here, this one, this one, this one, uh, some of these down here, these little things right here, home of the free because of the brave. Those are all uh, Victoria Thatcher printables, okay? So let's see what happened. Over here, did I just mention that? Over here, I always put my prayer list. This is from Victoria Thatcher. Now this book, let me just show you in the back here. I've shown this before, but it bears repeating. This is what the pages look like before I get to them, okay? <laughs> this is what they look like after. So I put some washi up at the top. Sometimes I put washi down at the bottom. I use the Victoria Thatcher uh, little printables to put in here. This big Made in the USA, we had purchased something. I don't even know what it was, but it had this big sticker on it. So I thought that it was appropriate to put here for the 4th of July week. Um, this is a magazine clipping that I found. Uh, I still use clip art. I use Mambi stickers, uh, just, you know, random stickers, all kinds of stuff. Okay. So we were actually down in the keys. I do believe this whole week. Yes, we were, yeah, we had an impromptu vacation. So <laughs> we were down there and we just decided what the heck, we'll just stay down here. So my husband can commute to work. So that's all good. So that's what he did. And of course we, he had Monday and Tuesday off and we actually had friends come in town the Sunday before. So they came into town and stayed with us for the weekend. Um, I do believe we were able to go out in the boat. Yeah. So we went out in the boat. We took everybody over to the beach and had a picnic and that was really cool. Took the took our friends on a little tour of this one canal where there are just beautiful, beautiful homes. So we took them on the little tour. Um, yeah, and then we just spent the evening chatting downstairs. I also, down at the bottom here, I kind of not really keep track, but I just write in what we've had for dinner, what we're watching on Netflix, things like that. Uh, so this day, of course, was, a four, was the 4th of July. Our friends did go home this day. Um, as did my children, I believe. I'm not sure. So we didn't really do anything this day, um, except relax. And 
then my husband had to go to work so he was commuting from the south house so i was home alone and yeah i just had me time you know so i had um you know just working on my journals and things like that and oh i think we got our mattress that day yeah we did we got our, our lisa mattress and it's like one of those mattresses that comes in a box and it's a king size mattress but it comes in a box and uh it's very reasonably priced in my opinion and it is super comfortable the only thing that we realized when we unfolded it and uh, put it in our room is that there is a little bit of um odor involved it is not gassing from what lisa tells me <laughs> it's not off gassing which a lot of other uh, mattresses have because a lot of times when you get a new mattress they're packaged in plastic and they use the preservative it's like formaldehyde basically they use it to preserve everything um, until it ships out and all that kind of stuff so that's why you have this thing called off gassing apparently from what lisa tells me they do their mattresses do not off gas but it did take a few days even up to maybe two weeks i would say before the odor went away completely and let me tell you the bed is so comfortable it is so comfortable okay enough about that anywho so we were still down in the keys another lazy day i was home all by myself because my husband was at work and the kids were back home um i watched a man called uve uve on uh what was it on it was on amazon prime and it was from a book that i'd read very good movie it's in swedish so there are but there are subtitles so that was um that was good and we were watching doc martin uh let's see so on friday my big handsome came home from work early and our sunshine came down and brought the pups so my husband and son went over to the bungalow and they were installing a new cooktop over there and Mm, yeah, we were also talking about my son's change in his future plans. Uh, so he is going out for a possible job out where my husband works. So instead of going to university, transferring to university and spending his, uh, getting his four-year degree, he's going to graduate this December with his two-year degree. And then he will hopefully be able to um, obtain a job out where my husband works so we were going all through that he had tests to take he had interviews to do all of that stuff so that's what we were doing there I had a total bed day this day um, I actually went over to the bungalow with the boys in the morning and then I told my husband I said I've got you've got to take me home I can't I just can't do it so I was in bed all day that day so that stunk but and then on Sunday we headed home so yeah, and then we just relaxed on the couch. So this day here, I'm not going to go through every little thing, but I was still feeling poopy. My daughter had her cardio appointment. We found out. I do believe that everything went well. And then she and I went out to breakfast that day. Of course, I had my Monday call with my grandmother. And then I was helping Sunshine with his resume. Um, and let's see what else. Yeah, so I was filming videos. I was making another zine book. Um, today was the last day of my beauty queen. Uh, her job as a nanny this summer. She worked as a nanny for about a month. So she was sad, not sad. She would have liked to have worked a few more weeks, but she was pretty much done with, uh, with that job. <laughs> mm -hmm. So then we were trip planning because we were going to be taking a summer trip let's see what else yeah nope this day was not happening so total bed day that day i did manage to make it out for a quick haircut i mean i told my poor hairdresser i've been seeing her for years for my haircuts and when i went in i was feeling so poorly that i told her i said i don't i don't even want you to wash my hair i i don't want you to style my hair i the only thing i can do is sit here and have you cut it and so that's what she did i was in and out of there in about 15 minutes because as most of you know i have short hair so uh, so i'm glad i was able to do that and um get home safely 
and let's see oh and then it was in bed so my daughter and I watched the cute film picture perfect so that was fun and let's see yeah this day please Roxanne Rox I'm sorry for the rude interruption she's trying to get to China Roxanne please stop I'm so sorry so anyhow, so I worked on my Fobonichi this day here, listening to my favorite Pandora station, which is Danny Goki. Love it. It is such an uplifting and inspiring and faith-based uh, music channel on Pandora. Love it. And put up another flip through. I have laundry to do. Oh my gosh, that day I hung out by the pool with my daughter and don't ask me why I did not put on sunscreen, okay? S dumbest move ever, okay? I got the worst sunburn I think I've ever had in my life. I, I don't know what I was thinking. Obviously, I wasn't. So I sent out some happy mail. We went to the Keys and went fishing. Um, let's see. Sunshine and Big Handsome went fishing. Uh, that was on Saturday on Friday. Oh yeah, my poor husband had to have an emergency root canal. So he didn't even tell me. He like I called him later on in the afternoon. And I said, "What are you doing?" He says, "Oh, I'm back. I'm on my way back from the city." I said, "What the heck were you up in the city for?" He says, "Oh, I had to go get a root canal." <laughs> so yeah, so he did that. The poor thing. We did head down uh, south that weekend. Uh, the the guys went fishing the next morning. I got very little sleep. I stayed home. The boys caught one dolphin fish, which was nice. I worked on my Fobonichi all morning. And then Sunday we headed home. So I was preparing images for my hat for this from a happy journal. Total lazy day. Still wasn't feeling well. I this was a poor week for me. Then this week here, we were heading out on our vacation. So all of the background images, these big ones, this one right here, this one, let's see, these, these here, these are all from Victoria Thatcher, these down here, Victoria Thatcher. And so, yeah, this was on a Monday before we were leaving, so we had lots of chores to be done. I don't know about y'all, but I like to have a clean house when we get home, so... Uh, we were in super cleaning mode, okay? And I like to have a clean car before we set out. So my son was cleaning the car, and we did that the first two days of this week. I did go and get a mani-pedi with my beauty queen so my nails could look pretty while we were on vacation. Uh, took the pups off to their border, so we got that done. I still wasn't feeling very well. I'm not sure if it was like kind of a little bit mixed anxiety with going on a trip. We hadn't been on a family trip in quite some time. So far away from home. So yeah. But um, we had a wonderful time. A wonderful time. I got some happy mail. Um, our, you know, we were packing and all of that kind of stuff. Uh, then the next day, we woke up. We were supposed to leave at 4 a.m. in the morning. We got a late start because my poor big handsome wasn't feeling all that great. Um, but he pulled up his big boy panties, and we started out at 6 a.m. And we drove 13 hours that day and went through three states. So <laughs> a lot of driving. Um and we ended up, our destination was Lookout Mountain, which is where my brother lives. We were able to spend a couple of hours with them. They made us some yummy homemade tacos for dinner. He knows me so well. And then we stayed in a hotel up there for that evening before. The next day, we set out on our way to a, to a place called Apple Valley Cabin. We had rented a cabin in the Great Smoky Mountains because we were going to our family reunion. And my husband and I have not to, been to a family reunion in years 15 years at least my children go they love going and my husband has a humongous family humongous okay and it was so funny when i put pictures on facebook of the family which was only part of the family somebody had mentioned on there my goodness he's got enough to make his own nation and it's true i mean it's just it's craziness but we had so much fun and it what was really funny is we got there and we we ended up going to the Ripley Aquarium, which we love, and it's very nostalgic for my kids. And we went to the Mountain Mall, which is, again, very nostalgic for us. 
and uh, we were trying to stay away from family members because people were actually arriving this day and we were trying to surprise everybody. Nobody knew that we were coming. And let me tell you, it was a huge surprise and the mission was accomplished and my son was so thrilled. So that evening, my husband actually cooked dinner at our cabin. He made a fish dinner for everybody a grilled fish dinner for everybody. We actually had 18 family members for dinner and then we had a few more come to visit. So we had 27 family members all together in our little cabin, but it was wonderful to see them all. And then the next day we went on a family picnic with the whole family at a park in Gallenberg. And uh, yeah, we just, you know, we went around shopping. We went over to my sister-in-law's uh, little cabin for drinks and dinner over there. Then we went back to the reunion lodge and spent time with the family. And it was just really great, really great. So we spent this whole weekend, these three days in uh, Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge area for the family reunion. And on Sunday, we left and we were headed to Nashville. So we were going to spend a day in Nashville. We actually got to Nashville this day because it's only a couple of hours away. And we went to the Country Music Hall of Fame, which was really cool. And then on this week here, this was the next week of our vacation. So Monday was a travel day, again, a short ride to Memphis, Tennessee. And so we stayed in Memphis. We went to the, the Gibson Guitar Factory, super cool. We went to, um, where do we go? We also went to the Rock and Soul Museum. The next day we went to Graceland and spent most of the day there. My husband and I and my kids too just really enjoy Elvis. I grew up listening to Elvis because my mother loved him to pieces. Um, yeah. So the following day we were leaving, or no, we spent one more day here. Yeah, it we spent three days, it, three nights in Memphis. So we went to Sun Studios so the kids could take some pictures. Uh, then we went to a place called the Pyramid, which used to be an auditorium, but has now changed into a Bass Pro Shop. And it is amazing so if you're in memphis and you have a chance to go to the pyramid go because it it's it's really cool uh we took some pictures on the mississippi with arkansas behind us we went to beale street we did a bunch of fun things in memphis then we were going to go to new orleans but we decided not to so we changed our plans and we decided to head from memphis on thursday to alabama so it was a six hour trip but it was a beautiful beautiful ride and we went to mobile alabama so on friday we went to the battleship memorial uh in mobile and we saw the uss alabama we saw the uss drum a submarine uh then we went to dolphin street which is like a nice little you know it's got a bunch of restaurants and shops and things like that so we went and had um some lunch at a German place and the kids got some ice cream. And then Saturday was our 11 and a half hour trip to home sweet home. So it was also uh, my father-in-law's 75th birthday that day and my niece's 21st birthday. So all in total, we traveled 2,775 miles over 50 hours of driving. Oh my goodness, yeah. So we got home at about 8.30 p.m. that night and I was so tired I slept in till 10 a.m. the next morning. Holy cow. So yeah, we unpacked, we did our regular Sunday routine and then we relaxed with Netflix um, that evening. And then because this spread was going to be empty, basically, except Monday, the third, June 31st, uh, here, of course, I have my prayer list. So what I decided to do was write in the different things, you know, that I did on that day. And then the rest of it was all cutouts from, let me see if I can grab it here really quickly. This, sorry for the glare, Color My World, and it's a daily calendar, a desk calendar, and it has just beautiful images in it. And these little calendars... You know, they're really not all that expensive. I got mine on Amazon. And they make terrific fodder for journaling, for your Fobonichi, for sending out in happy mail. It's just, they're so beautiful and whimsical. So I just 
slapped a whole bunch of that on here and I called it macaroni and that was the end of July. So thank you so much for tuning in to see what's going on with my jot journal and I hope to see you next time and I'll talk at you soon. Bye.